Right, hello everybody. Welcome to the second Champions Cup 21 semi-final. Um, we start off with a high kick, so rendering kickoff return moot. And uh, yes, it's Kefool's Amazons versus Dionysian's Dwarves. So a pretty one-sided matchup, because it's a very violent dwarf team. He's got a couple of stand firm, but he's got th three mighty blow piling on. Though only two of them have tackle, one does not have tackle. And he's got an extra mighty blow, but it doesn't have tackle, so it's actually not as bad as it you would think. Like, you see all this mighty blow and piling on, and you think it's horrific, but two of them are on kind of the wrong players um, for this match. So, it's, you know, he's got 12 players. He's got a uh, he induced boomer as his 12th guy, who isn't isn't actually a goblin. He is a, he is a dwarf, just cyanide, don't have the proper thing. So, yeah, you know, it's like he's got loads of guard, a strength up. Loads of mighty blow and piling on. Um, Kefil's team is actually pretty bare bones. Um, though, it, though, although neither side's got inducements <laughs> apart outside of that. Um, I don't think. No. So they've both got an apple. Um, you know, this is... Uh, this is rough, isn't it? This is rough for the Amazons. He's got some guard, three guard. He's got a Pommer of his own. So if he gets lucky, you know, things can uh, things can happen for him. And this is quite a good turn so far. He goes for the tackle hit rather than a mighty blow hit. Which is fair enough. That's the power. And kills it. So, so much for the good start. <laughs> I think having Boomer on the pitch is fine, though he doesn't have tackle. Um, you know, there's a good chance of, of the Zons removing a player with Pom. So you don't want to just have him on for a turn. So if, if you like a Bomber, I think it's fine fielding him on offence here. Maybe Kefu could have got an extra assist in and hit from here. So he could have hit for an extra hit. But... Um, you know, that's just nitpicking, I just thought of it. Gets the pile on, doesn't break AV. Classic. And... He dodges through tackle there, rather than non-tackle. But you know, there's, there's a chance to make a bit of a bit of a breakthrough here, isn't there? And again, he runs through tackle instead of non-tackle. <laughs> and again, he runs through tackle instead of non-tackle. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he thought this guy was a long beard, and he did actually say he thought it was a long beard. And then he dodges and doesn't use dodge because he just literally misclicked. He didn't think it, he didn't not use it because there was no point because he thought it was a long beard. He then did realise this wasn't long beard, but just misclicked um, using dodge. So costly misclick gets him KO'd. And you know this wasn't bad by Dio, the, the, the um, by careful. You know the fail pickup meant that he got a bit of pressure on. I quite like that. Uh, but it's tough, isn't it? You know, if he makes the pick up this time, it's basically GG. Um, this jump up guy is incredible, isn't he? Absolutely made to kill Amazons. It looks like he's not gonna, actually going to get into a cage, is it? I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I would have really wanted to get a cage here. And certainly not be GFIing to hit, but. He does. <laughs> so he just gets him back here. Fair enough. So, you know, you can get an assist on him. Maybe he's getting one dice on the ball here, can't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI, run him around. There's kind of almost a chance for it. Not much, though. Like, he does a good job, actually, Dio, of getting it pretty safe, doesn't he? Um. It's a pow. Blitz, Blitz as Boomer, despite Boomer not having tackle. Um, but it does give him the 2 plus dodge out, doesn't it? That was the idea. Give the uh, Blitz the 2 plus dodge out. But they both both sides, I think, sacked things for this game to make, you know, try inducements. And Kefool's down to two rerolls, which is very, very few rerolls. Fails the dodge, can't reroll it because he's only got two and gets cast. 
Um, obviously instant Apo here, and it works, luckily for him, because that was a miss next game. I don't know, maybe it wasn't, depends which role, role, order they were in. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that was a huge dodge, because it, if he'd had three re-rolls, he could have re-rolled it. But with two re-rolls, there's no way on earth he can re-roll that. And uh, absolutely banged on by getting him cast. Or her, I'll just say him all the time, because I'm so used to seeing him when I'm playing Blood Bowl. Um, I don't like not making save from his first here. He could have moved the ball up first, couldn't he? Ah, no, because he wanted to see if he got the knockdown fair enough. So, pretty safe moves first. And now he's getting up and, you know, massive mega cage now. This is, uh, but he still doesn't, he doesn't get tackle here. So, you know, he hasn't got tackle cage corners, which is, you know, arguably a bit of a mistake there. That's maybe he's not, maybe he's not great there. Gets a Kaz though. Thanks to, uh, thanks to his stupid Amazon killer there. I mean, this is insane, isn't it? Jump up. Jump up, tackle, pro, palm is... Is absolutely disgusting. So he gets he gets the tackle there in the way anyway, so it's all right. Um, so yeah, it's looking <laughs> now. You know, Kefil could get in the position where he just doesn't stand anybody up. You know, he's basically he's not going to stop the score this drive, is he? He's probably what he's thinking. Just try and make pom hits and hope he gets lucky. But um, finally makes an AV break. So he piles on, so that's, that's two AV breaks he's made um, with that one stun. Counts as two AV breaks in the uh, in the battle report. Match report, that's what it's called. And he's given up a POM here. Maybe he should have made this dodge first uh, rather than that dodge. Ah, oh, that was a 1 in 9 though, which he failed. And this is a 1 in 3. But still, this was dodging away from a POM. <laughs> So Dyer's going to try and get his get his, this pom into action, isn't he? For sure. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't great dodge rolls. He uh, made a fundamental error there. Careful rolling poorly. You've got to roll well in uh, in playoff games. It's a mistake I made as well. Silly silly thing to do, really. Just roll good is the uh, is the thing to do. Well, roll well if you're speaking English. Roll well. Don't roll poorly. I think I would have left him in there just to punch. I guess he wants to use piling on, maybe. I don't like getting his piling on out of the action. I would definitely want the piling on more in the action, for sure. You know, either basing down players or ready to blitz somebody. Gets another removal. And he might toss a bomb here. Except he's just put someone next to him, so I guess he's not going to. So yeah, it's tough, isn't it? It's tough because if he blitzes, he's he's getting more hits back, isn't he? Maybe, maybe just just run away at this point. Um, but he's still gone. Oh, he doesn't even go for the pom blitz. He's just trying to screen him, trying to screen off his pommer. Gets the pow. Protect, protect his pom player. And actually, he's run. He's run next to the pom here, hasn't he? So although although Dio took his took his pom kind of out of the game, um, Kefu gave him a guy to hit, a very a very good player to hit. So you could argue that was a bit of a mistake from uh, Kefu, maybe. Doesn't uh, doesn't re-roll. He could have greed at that, couldn't he? I actually wouldn't have even hated a greed re-roll there. The ball was completely secure. Although he hasn't got a lot of turns left. Wouldn't have hated a greed reroll there. You know, I mean, as much as I normally hate them, you know what I mean? Like it, it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been as bad as some greed rerolls I've seen. So yeah, everyone's based up. Blitzers he has got Juggernaut, so the push wasn't that bad for him there. Um he does greed it though. Gets the pile on. Uh, the thing is, though, he is four squares away from Boomer, so Boomer's for sure going to foul. <laughs> and fails the tackle dodge. Don't know that Kefu will succeed in any dodges yet. <laughs> it doesn't feel like he has. <laughs> so now we're getting a few punches in, including a pom hit. And it's just it's just horrible, isn't it? It's just horrible. I mean, this is 
this game had the potential to go like this, didn't it? This was the problem for uh, for K four really. Um, for some reason, Dio ditches his cage. Um, I don't know. I think it probably wasn't a good idea. I think he probably should have just stayed in the cage, but he doesn't. He just mows his eye out of it. Doesn't matter, does it really? I'm sure he had his reasons that I am not good enough to fathom what they were. But there you go. He, he abandons the cage. And uh, smashes some more Amazons. Yeah, I think he could have just been stood in here, couldn't he? And just been stood in a full cage. <laughs> I think that would have been better. Rather than let, you know, a chance of... I don't know, one, two... Uh, not easy, but still. Maybe his, maybe his is better. Boomer does a cap classic gym. Maybe that's better because he, you know, he's gonna make a few. Dodge. That's still a six plus dodge, isn't it? I mean, it could be that. I feel like it, it's not, it's not ideal to just not be in a cage, but maybe it was ideal. Yeah, nightmare half for careful. But you know, most of them are KOs. So he's still gonna have a chance in the second half at the moment. <laughs> yes, careful knows the result, but no spoilers, thank you. <laughs> So now he does make a big cage, right? Now he does. No, I mean, maybe it was better. Maybe it was better to not be in there. Um... Another cheeky KO. Uh, probably is, yeah, my machine. You could comment on YouTube as well if you want that. It's on YouTube as well, isn't it? But, I mean, you know, this is the thing. I just say I don't like things because they're not wrong, are they? It's just things I, I wouldn't do. I, I, I Maybe I should say. Um... All right, thank you. Thank you, my machine. Um, it's interesting, isn't it? Because it's like... Maybe I should say what you can see. Because I, I can usually see what you, what the other people are thinking. It's just that I don't agree with it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, yeah, if someone watches the Twitch VOD, yeah. There's another... There's another Kaz. On, on the defenseless, he had to do that. Some people said that he shouldn't do it block but he obviously should have done one in 12 nine six to fail and palming a defenseless armor seven garda you've got to make that block i fully back dio in his blitzing there and got the kit got the kill glorious only one out of four is horrible obviously horribly unlucky for careful there so far but so now he's got six out and he's got but he's still got like seven left because he's got loads of players so you know, he's a chance to have 10. There's a chance of him to have 10. And if he's got 10, he's got half a chance. Um, so, if all three come back, he's got some... And he could, maybe could do some damage. I don't really get what Dio's trying to do with his defense. It's not... Because there's no chance of a one-turner. So I guess it's, it's, a, it's a riot defense. But um, I just feel like... He'd be better served with an extra player in the wide zones, um, and a journeyman on the LOS. But I guess he's, you know, he, obviously, it's what he thinks is best. He's thinking, you know, put loads of strength on the LOS, loads of guard on the LOS, make it hard to break there. But there is an easy chance to potato, isn't there here? Which, you know, was immediately what Kefu was going for, or a damage hit. 
He got, he got, you know, he got, he got the touch back there. If this had been a riot, Kefu could have just had, you know, a bit of a cage almost in in the other half. So I, I don't think it was a good defence for a riot personally. But uh, gets the palm hit in. That's another beaten up dwarf. <laughs> Hey, a stun. So that, that, there's another armor break, and it's on turn eight, where it's completely irrelevant. So, so far in this match, we have seen one piling on hit, which broke armor, and then re-rolled the injury. So that counts as two armor breaks. And then we've seen an armor break there on turn eight, where it doesn't matter at all. Um, <laughs> and he gets one out of three. So he's made two KO rolls out of seven. So that is pretty horrible. No, no move, no movements on the zones. So he's had horrible KO rolls, two out of seven, and he's got eight players um, against a full eleven. So it's not easy. Not easy for KFU right now. <laughs> um, so yeah. I mean, this is just horrible, isn't it? This is just, this is just absolutely horrible for him. There's pretty much nothing he can do. Um, <laughs> he's lost a Garda. He's lost his ball carrier. Hmm. That's a nice selection of stat ups on your, uh, on your current team. Careful. Throw rock is cancelled. <laughs> yeah, now it's just gonna be, now it's just gonna be uh, careful trying desperate stuff, isn't it? And uh, Dio trying to make it, you know, trying to make the horrible grind as safe as possible. And this is fantastic dice from Kefil here, isn't it? While while Dio is busy murdering the shit out of uh, Kefil's team, Kefil can't even knock anybody over. <laughs> no knockdowns at all from four blocks. <laughs> um, so it's not just Amazons versus Dwarves this game. This is a pretty much a hell of a dicing on top of on top of it being an almost unwinnable matchup teams wise um like it's a really horrific yeah well five blocks not five block actions four block actions and a blitz but you know a block is part of a blitz action so there were four blocks and there was no uh oh yeah five blocks yeah that's, that's right five blocks sorry five blocks total five blocks total does nothing Gets hit back, gets KO'd. Absolutely standard. Um, yeah, so sorry, five, I just miscounted, yeah. Five blocks, no knockdowns. And yeah, it just base everybody up, get tackle in the right places. And I actually don't like this. I would have rather had the stand firm here. Um, and the runner there is what I would have done. I don't like that. Not saying it's wrong, but I don't like it. <laughs> you don't need to, uh, Umum, just because he's out for us the matches. Isn't he? The, the only thing that matters is winning at the end of the day. And uh, Dio knows there's not going to be a touchdown this half. <laughs> he absolutely knows there's not going to be a touchdown this half. <laughs> um, and so you know he's off for the rest of that the match, hundred percent with that KO. Yeah, now it's just knock everybody down. And he doesn't need to pressure the ball because he's 1 0 up. So it's uh, it's bad times for Kefu. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, Kefu, you know, like that's the thing, isn't it? He's Kefu's trying trying desperation moves, hoping for, you know, and, and you know, people say that people get sloppy when they're ahead, but at the end of the day. You're always going to be able to say, oh, look, there's a four plus, four plus, three plus on here. And it's like, well, you can't really stop that, can you? Do you know what I mean? You can't really stop any chance at all. Um, 
So there's always going to be kind of like mad things that Kefu can go for. And you can't really criticize Dial for not shutting everything down because there are gonna be there are gonna be things. Meanwhile all of his blocks are pals. <laughs> it's just stupid, isn't it? It's just absolutely a dicing. Um So yeah. Brutal. Goes for the foul. I don't I actually I think I didn't like this foul this much. Um, I think you're probably doing better to have fouled this one. Because there's a 5 plus 3 plus here to get through, isn't there? Um, instead, hits from this. This is a mistake, isn't it, from Kefu here? Hits from this direction and pushes there. Um, he could have just hit from here. So did an unnecessary GFI. Um, nitpicking, you know, just, but just saying, just pointing it out. I'm not, I'm not insulting Kefu for his play there, but it just, <laughs> he dodges through there. Oh, he's got, oh, that's not, yeah. Okay, yeah, he had dodge though, because of the, uh, because of this, so he went that way. And then failed. Could have gone that way, but that way it doesn't matter, does it? Both, both were very unlikely to work. So all of his players are, are down. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah a fair match let's just wait for it to end now I think <laughs> there might be a chance though and obviously Dio's going to keep fouling players and stuff because there's no reason not to foul them like it doesn't it, it, losing a player isn't going to give the Amazons a magic way back into the match is it it's just going to make sure he's got tackle everywhere I'd probably be fouling with that dwarf runner uh, dwarf runner dwarf blitzer there Probably fouling the thing because he hasn't got tackles, so he's not as good as he. But he's blitzing with a loner. And he's not even he's not even pressuring the ball because he doesn't just doesn't care, does he? <laughs> he just doesn't care. Uh, but there's a chance here, isn't there? With the, with the uphill there, if he got the power, he, he would have been away for a potato chance and and someone following him. So you've got to say maybe that was a bit of a mistake. You know, maybe they could have been, but you can't. You know, when it, when when you're hoping for an uphill blitz and a run away, but he would have got the it would have allowed the three plus away. So maybe. Yeah, double push, yeah, double push. That's true, wouldn't he? Didn't even need a double power. Yeah, just a double push, because he hasn't got tackle. And then it would have been... She could have been away. And then she could have been away as well, harder. But a power would have meant a 3 plus for her as well. Which is really bad, isn't it? From uh, from Dio to, for, to allow the, the second one, I think. I think the first one... Yeah, he should have been stood there, I think. The first one, the double push to get her away, wasn't so bad. But I think the fact that it freed up her on a three plus as well um, was the on on pals was the killer. Not that it's really terrible, and you know you can't really stop everything, can you? That's the thing. You really can't stop everything. Um, so now Kefil's gone for it. Um, Yeah, it was it was a great chance compared to Crappy Lucky. That's true. That's true. Yeah, maybe you can criticise Dionysian for, for like allowing that because I think it probably would have been stopped if the other guy was there. I think getting the chance of the other one getting out on the three plus was what made it so bad because you can't really stop them just uphilling somebody and then dodging and stuff, you know. Like you really just can't stop that. But there's always a chance, isn't there? Like even a skin snotling, snotlings could like triple power and <laughs> dodge out and everything. So there's people are always going to have a chance to do something. And he gets the he gets the tackle hit. Doesn't get the knockdown. Doesn't re-roll it. And now all of a sudden, um, Kefool is in with a bit of a shot here, isn't he? Unbelievably, unbelievably, this is, uh, he is in with a bit of a shot. Now what I like doing here was uphill blitzing the tackler. 
um, the loner, uphill blitz the loner, and then dodge through the uh, non tackle runner. That was that was the player that I think I would have gone for blitz him, but instead, Kefil dodges through the tackle um, on threes. Has to use a team reroll, but then only has to do a one D, but one DB, and also he hasn't pushed the tackler forward. So it's a trade off, isn't it? You know that's the thing. It's all it's all a trade off. Um, maybe gone on the sideline as well. He's got sidestep. Could have gone on the sideline to get a bit further away. So he's he does the GFIs right, and uh, all of a sudden now one two three four GFI GFI, he's away. Ah, fair enough. So he's away from the, these two tacklers. There's only this tackler in range. So um, I think maybe he could have done another dodge there. And I think this last player here goes to the wrong square facing him. I really didn't like this. I really like the last player going to here because he's, he's got one tackler. And by basing there and there, he can free that tackler and he can assist and hit the ball. So I really, I really like getting away from tackle completely. Also... Um, I would have been on the sideline as well, but you know, being being mega critical again, you know, it's not it's not a it's not a uh, it's only nitpicky because it's a YouTube analysis video. It's not it's not saying that anyone's bad or anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was so good that you could have been like you know making those dice rolls to get the dodges out to get in the way, but then to not block off the tackle hit. It was a bit a bit sad, a bit tragic, really. Yeah. No, yeah, that's fair enough. It's fair enough. It's absolutely fair to stay in there, because you obviously can get boxed in. Um, there's times when I've gone on the sideline with, with sidestep, just because I could, and then I've been like, oh, moves I shouldn't have done, <laughs> you know? So, yep, yeah, couple of powers. Tags two players without tackle and both get powered. Makes two GFIs, makes them both. And gets the power <laughs> with tackle. So, and kills her. <laughs> so you know, against dice like that, what are you gonna do? I mean, the two the two hits without power, without tackle both powered. So you know, it's not it's not a criticism of. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just stupid, isn't it? And then an, another Kaz off the off the foul. <laughs> So it's really, it's really not a criticism of Kefil, you know. It's just, it's just talking about. Oh my god! <laughs> just talking about things oh that can happen, isn't god. it? Yeah, that was pretty stupid, wasn't it? Fuck you! That was pretty fucking ah. stupid. Um, a pretty stupid match. <laughs> all in all, that is an absolute mega Dyson. You know, just, just in the same way as, pretty much as my, uh, my. Xbox round of 16, you know, I absolutely diced the living shit out of those, uh, those, uh, 101 Kislev. You know, Kefu was completely diced here, even though it was a horrible matchup. Um, the dice was still outrageous. <laughs> Please ban dwarves. <laughs> and, and, uh, Dio even gets to go for a skill up here. Not, not a skill, it puts him in MVP range. Um, for maybe getting an extra skill in the final. If he makes it. Yeah. Pretty stupid. Pretty stupid match. Yeah, it's not though, careful. It's not. It never is. I never, I never ever mean it maliciously whenever I'm doing the uh, replays. It's just, it's just literally what I see and what I think, isn't it? Also, I forget what I've said as soon as I've said it. And then people, people come back and say, <laughs> I've had quite a few people say like, on turn 13 in this match, I I was I was doing I did this because of this and this and this and I'm like I don't I don't know what I said <laughs> sorry <laughs> you know just just like a stream of consciousness isn't it vomit vomit what I'm thinking onto the uh, out of my mouth and that's it <laughs> thanks busy <BZL. laughs> just a just a little Reddit reference there for you. Uh, makes the handoff and gets the 2 0 win. So there you go. 
So congrats to Dio. I mean, he didn't really do anything wrong, did he? You could argue he could have he could have shut down that chance that Kefu had. Um, you know, maybe he shouldn't have allowed the double out. You, you couldn't really stop the uphill into escape. You know, you're always going to have an uphill into a dodge escape, obviously. But I think he, maybe he could have prevented the chance of getting the other one out. Um, but the th three AV breaks for Kefu, and that's with a couple of mighty blows, a pommer that was piled on a few, quite a few times, and the three AV breaks was one on our, one on turn eight, so it didn't matter at all, and two of the armor breaks were the same AV breaks. It was a pile on, so effectively. Um, it was two armor breaks in the entire match and one was on turn eight, so it doesn't matter. So it was one armor break in the entire match. Um, was, was it not two mighty blows and one and one uh, piling on mighty blow? That's what I thought. Yeah, and then three, as many armor breaks as deaths. Actually, less armor breaks than deaths because it was actually two, of which only one was relevant. And then 24 AV breaks for Dio. But, you know, so it was, it was horrible dice in addition to a horrible matchup. If you switch the dice, then I think, you know, Kefu would have won for sure because the dice that uh, Dio, he didn't really need. He didn't really need the dice that he got because, the you know, Dwarves against Armour 7 is, <laughs> is pretty good. But it was still absolutely crazy. So, yeah, there you go. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.